Hello ladies and gentlemen, Holotide here, and today I want to talk about something that Halo Infinite desperately needs in order to keep taking steps in the right direction and basically flesh the game out as much as possible for the next 10 years. Because if you didn't see the previous video or a couple videos before that, I don't think that 343 is going to just give up on Halo Infinite, especially the multiplayer side of things. Now, Sketch was on that podcast talking about the future of Halo and, you know, hiring new people and stuff. I honestly believe that Halo Infinite is going to be the platform for multiplayer, the PvP, maybe PvE side of things, and then we're going to get standalone games or maybe just something added into the infinite launcher for single player content but with everybody talking about the switch to the unreal engine and you know things of that nature i just don't feel like halo infinite's going to be forgotten especially with how much effort and work they've put in to get it to where it is now but before i talk about the one thing that halo infinite is missing and desperately needs. I just want to say thank you for all the support recently. As always, you all have killed it. This has been probably the best year on YouTube I've ever had. So I just want to say thank you. And if you enjoy Halo content, I could honestly be your third favorite Halo YouTuber. So just go ahead and hit that subscribe button. I know like over 90% of you who watch the videos aren't subscribed. Also, if you enjoy the video and you agree, make sure you leave a like and definitely comment down below how you feel. I want to know your number one thing that you want to see come to Halo Infinite other than playable elites because that is always the number one thing. Anyways, the one thing that I think Halo Infinite desperately needs is more social features. Now, I'm not talking about game modes and things of that nature, although yes, Griff Ball and stuff like that definitely needs to come back. But I'm talking about clans. I'm talking about Spartan companies. I'm talking about lobby chat. I'm talking about not having to restart matchmaking after every match. Now, yes, these are things that were in previous Halo games, so we're we're treading into that territory when it comes to, oh, it should have been in a game at launch, and I get it. A lot of things should have been in the game at launch, but now that we're, like, really getting into the thick of things, and it looks like they're adding more features, this is something I think desperately needed. In my personal opinion, what made Halo great before, especially in, like, the Bungie titles, was the sense of community, all the features built into the game. It was, like, this huge ecosystem because you had like forge and regular multiplayer campaign and pve theater stuff machinima and i think that's something that halo infinite desperately needs now like the number one thing that people bring up when it comes to the downside of clans was like in halo 5 when you could get the achilles armor set and like people were getting kicked and stuff and you could pay to get it and it was just like a huge fiasco and i do think that in clans or spartan companies or whatever it's going to be called you should be able to get rewards i think that we've kind of hit that horse a lot he's not quite dead but he's been beaten about how we need more earnable cosmetics in the game not just through the store and i think that this is a good way to do that you know nameplates emblems stuff for your you know spartan to show off maybe attachments armor would be fantastic i think when like multi-team comes out that having like a clan wars playlist where you go up against other clans i would love to see like a weekend focus community event where you can get points and stuff you know and get on a leader Board. Now, I'm not going to lie. I play Halo Infinite mostly by myself. I am a solo player. I'm an old guy. I have a job. I don't have any kids or anything like that. I am married. But like when I get on, it's only because I have like, you know, a couple of minutes. Maybe it's at lunchtime, you know. But like for me, I would definitely love to create a community clan kind of thing where people can join and you guys can, you know, earn rewards and stuff for those people like me who don't necessarily have like a huge group of friends to play with. You know, I'm not a massive streamer or anything like that. I can't just go into chat and be like, play with me. But again, I think with how well Forge is doing right now, you know, the community maps being added into official matchmaking and stuff like that, it does feel like there's a sense of community coming back to the game. And I think this is just the next step. I think, I think a good amount of people would probably argue that you know, dev time doesn't need to go to this, what's going to be the return, and I get that, I do. But again, I just feel like it's one of those core pillars, a, a part of the foundation that makes Halo, Halo. There are other things like proximity chat, or, you know, if you kill somebody in the game and uh, you get to hear their voice after you do it, and it's just some screaming, and then it gets cut off abruptly. I think stuff like that is good. I know now we try to protect players and try not to have you know people say bad words or make fun of people and stuff like that i understand that as well but halo is special halo is unique compared to like call of duty lobbies 
Halo was never that bad for me. But yeah, that's one of the things I think Halo Infinite desperately needs right now. We're going in a solid direction, but community, I think, is super important, especially to a game like this. But that's going to do it for the video, ladies and gentlemen. If you enjoyed, make sure you leave a like down below. If you're new to the channel, make sure you subscribe, and I will catch you around the ring. Peace!